welcome to a new Clash of the Horns, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about Greg Gaines, the Rams' new nose tackle, and one of the positions that's least known for its style and flair. The nose tackle, basically, their responsibility is to stop the run. Be that guy that doesn't move in the line of scrimmage as the rest of the team tries to help you out and tackle the running back or get after the quarterback. So it's not the most luxurious position, but it's a very needy position if you want to dominate the line of scrimmage. And most teams, and in my opinion, is most of the games are won on the line of scrimmage in the trenches. So that's one of the things I like about Greg Gaines is he's able to, able to hold his own in the line of scrimmage against double teams. One weakness that I've noticed is his arms aren't that big. He actually has small arms compared to the rest of his body, so he reminds me kind of like a, a cannonball. But he's able to use his strength the best he can, and he does have a pretty decent bull rush, but he doesn't have anything else other than that. So if he can't beat you with strength, then he's basically, you're gonna end up winning in that battle um, it's against very elite or above average offensive linemen. So that's one fear that I do have. But one thing that I do like about him is he's relentless. He doesn't stop. So there's times where he's stalled, but he's able to get away and he's still able to get after the quarterback and, and create a lot of pressure. And then in turn, maybe create a turnover or a, uh, a, a pass that doesn't get to the wide receiver. So he does a really good job of using of what he has um, and also keeping his objective which is stopping the run at all times so imagine a defensive line with Aaron Donald Greg Gaines and Michael Brockers so if he's able to take two offensive linemen that leaves Aaron Donald one-on-one -on -one against another player if he's left alone with one offensive lineman and then Aaron Donald gets double team he's able to use his power to try to create some pressure against quarterback so that at least doesn't make him a weakness in the pass rushing game but he doesn't have the skills that Indonik and Sue did so Indonik and Sue was able to use his leverage his size his his speed so he had more tools in his toolbox to get after the quarterback but I feel that Greg Gaines doesn't have that toolbox he has one move which is power and try to take up double teams which isn't a bad thing but in certain situations, in certain you know downs, you want to get after the quarterback. You might have to make a rotation with a de another defensive player if Greg Gaines isn't able to do it. But I do like the fact that he's a really competitive guy. Like I said, he hardly gets pushed off the line of scrimmage. There's certain times where he's going against pretty good offensive lines, and they're unable to move him, especially when he was playing with Vita Vea back in 2016 2017 he has he, him and Vita Vea had one of the best defensive lines in football when they both played together because they were both unable to you can't move them because they're so big and uh, powerful they were mainly mm. run stopping defensive tackles and that actually looks pretty good on film so if, uh, while I'm making this video I'm gonna be putting videos um, in clips while he's playing with Vita Vea another player that ended up going to the Buccaneers in the first round because they were really good together and I feel like having Aaron Donald, Michael Brockers and Greg Gaines will kind of give you a similar look to what he was doing. There were times where they're both giving out combinations and using their size to go against offensive linemen and they use basically brute force to pin an offensive line down and get after the quarterback. Plus we got other weapons like Clay Matthews now, Dante Fowler. So there's a little bit more firepower on the edge now than we did have last season. And last season we did have a little bit more firepower in the center with, you know, Donna can sue there. But with now having more edge presence, I think it'll be fair assessment to say that as long as Greg Gaines is able to hold his own and stop the run, the Rams will be a lot better position. Because last season, even though we did have Indonik and Sue, the Rams' run-stopping ability was not great. Uh, we were able to get after the quarterback because we had pretty good skill players at the defensive side of the ball. Uh, and, you know, pass rushers and uh, defensive tackles, defensive ends, but we weren't able to stop the run. So. As long as Greg Gaines is able to help the, run, the Rams run defense, 
I'm gonna give it a B plus um, draft pick. But if he's unable to stop the run, then, then it would be another wasted draft pick on a player that's not able to stop the run. But I do have high hopes, and he does have a lot of coachable potential that I think that Greg Gaines is a workout for the Rams. So let me know what you guys think. I honestly like the guy. I think he seems like a cool dude. Um, even in his press conferences, he was saying that he's able to take double teams to take some pressure off of Aaron Donald. And as long as he helps the Rams in run defense, that's all that matters to me. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a like, leave a share. And until next time, you guys, go Rams. Quarterback run. Not. I think those big square bodies have done their job. McCaffrey on the pitch, and he is tripped up. Burns. Oh, did he get wrecked? Ball comes loose. Upper's inability to run. Fourth and two. You don't pet run. You throw, and they're going to collapse the pocket. Elijah Qualls is going to get there. Wooshing comes on the inside and gets the high hit. Fourth and two. One of the best players in college football in the backfield. Fatality.